Hi, my name's Grace and I'm a doctor working in the sexual health clinic. Could I confirm your name and date of birth, please? Yes, it's Charlotte Boring and my date of birth is the 15th of May, 1994. Nice to meet you, Charlotte. And you're here today to learn about the external condom, is that right? Yes, that's correct. Okay, so I think first we'll talk about the external condom and what it is, and then we can go through how to use one. What do you know about external condoms? So I've heard of them before, but I've never used one. Okay, we can go through it together. So an external condom is a latex sheath, which is placed over the penis and used during sexual activity. It's used to protect against pregnancy, so is contraception, and also to protect against most sexually transmitted infections, or STIs. They come in different sizes, shapes, colours and flavours, and they also come in different materials, for example, for people with latex allergies. Do you have any questions so far? So you mentioned they could be used as contraception. Would you be able to tell me a little bit more about that? Yes, of course. So condoms work as contraception by providing a physical barrier. They block the sperm from going inside the vagina, and that means it's unable to fertilise an egg. With perfect use, they're 98% effective at protecting from pregnancy. But with typical use, we find that they're about 82% effective. What this means is that for every 100 people using condoms for a year, about 18 of them will have unplanned pregnancies. Does that make sense? Yes. So we've talked about what a condom is and what it's used for. I'm now going to show you how to use one, okay? Okay. First, inspect the condom packaging. Check that the packaging is intact, the condom is in date, and that there is a kite mark. Open the packaging by tearing. Do not use your teeth and be careful with nails and jewellery. Condoms can tear easily. Then, check that you are holding the condom the right way up. You need to be able to unroll the condom downwards. The condom should be applied to an erect penis. If the penis is uncircumcised, pull back the foreskin first. Before putting the condom on, pinch the tip of the condom to expel air. Then, place the condom over the tip of the penis and unroll all the way to the base. The fit should be snug. A condom which is too small will be too tight and might split, but a condom which is too big will be loose and might slip off. If you accidentally try to put it on upside down, it won't roll down the penis. In this case, just discard the condom and use a new one. During sexual activity, water or silicon-based lubricant can be used, but oil-based lubricants can damage latex condoms and so should be avoided. After ejaculation, the penis should be withdrawn before it goes soft, and when withdrawing the penis from the body, grip at the base to ensure that the condom does not slide off. The condom should then be removed and care should be taken to avoid spilling any semen near the genitals. Discard the condom in a bin, not a toilet. If the condom breaks or comes off, then there is a risk of pregnancy, in this case, emergency contraception should be considered. There would also be a risk of STI transmission, and so one should consider getting an STI screening test. Okay, do you have any questions? No, that's all clear. But I have heard that using two condoms is better than one. Is that true? That's a good question, and it's a really common myth. Actually, using two condoms means that they're more likely to break, so it's much safer to just use one condom at a time. Okay. Using condoms can take practice. Would you like to try with the model? Yes, okay. Okay. They seem a little bit fiddly to use. Yes, they can be at first. Condoms do have some disadvantages. They take practice to be able to use properly and they do need to be used correctly in order to provide the best protection. Some people feel like they can interrupt sexual activity and although they're very good at protecting against STIs or sexually transmitted infections, there are other methods which can provide better contraception. Are you interested in hearing about any of these other methods today? I'm not really interested in any other types of contraception today. I like the idea of condoms because they protect against sexually transmitted infections. Yes, unlike other methods of contraception, condoms provide really reliable and effective protection against STIs. They're also readily available from different shops and you can even get them for free, especially if you're under the age of 25. Another big advantage of condoms is it puts you in control of your own contraception. So to summarise, today we've talked about what condoms are and how to use them, including having a practice with the model. And we've gone through the pros and cons. Do you have any other questions about condoms at all? Do you feel like it all makes sense? 
Yeah, I think I understand. Good. And do you feel um, comfortable with how to apply a condom using the model? Yes. Great. Okay. So over here, there's an envelope for you to take with you, which has condoms in it. They need to be stored away from direct heat and away from sunlight. Um, there's also some leaflets in the envelope about condoms and where to get them for free and about other different methods of contraception. Great. Thank you. Is there anything else I can help you with today? No, that's everything. Great. Okay. Well, take care, Charlotte. Thank you. If you liked this video, you'll love our textbook. The Geeky Medics Clinical Examination Guide summarises all the key examination skills for your practical exams. Buy now at geekymedics.com.